25 from 247wallstreet.com. Oh, I love that. We all love, love them. Horror movies loved by audiences but hated by critics. And see if you agree with this. These are 25 of them. And this was based on 24-7 tempo review data on audience and critic reception from Rotten Tomatoes. Horror movies were ranked based on the percentage point difference between Rotten Tomatoes audience score tomato. and the tomato meter score. Tomato. Yeah. Only films with at least 10 critic reviews and 10,000 audience reviews, audience scores of at least 75% and tomato meter scores of below 60% were considered. Tomato. So this is technical. Number 25, Nightbreed from 1990. Yeah. You like not breed. I don't think yeah. that that's a that's a movie that fans clamor over a lot though. I think maybe well, I'm wrong. I mean, I don't know. Back when when it was wasn't available and only on D V D, but you know, I I think I like it sometimes. <laughs> Number twenty four, Hannibal from two thousand one. It's a movie I've seen one time and that was enough for me. I've seen it a few times and not a not not I, it, it, yeah. Hannibal uh, Rising is slightly better, I think. 23, The Devil's Rejects. I think that's accurate. I think the fans overall liked that and the critics didn't. Yeah. Constantine from 2005. That's an underrated one. I think that, that's a cool Yeah, they movie. definitely, uh, audiences found that movie and uh, critics did not like it. Number 21. Now, this is an eye roller right here because I'm like, who the fuck mentions this? Tales from the Crypt, Demon Knight from 1995. <laughs> well, so, uh, you know what? You know they don't mention uh, Demon. Oh, is it the uh, Tales from the Crypt rituals? They don't. Nobody mentions that, right? <laughs> well, at least the uh, tell, the Demon Knight has that on there. That's the best known of the Tales from the Crypt movies. I don't even know what the fuck this is. Number twenty, Odd Thomas from 2013. I don't know. I have that movie. I haven't watched it, but it's, uh, I don't know. That, uh, I don't Ant know. Anton Yelchin, uh, who passed <laughs> yeah, away. Yeah, he did a few low bu lower budget movies around that time. He did that and that, uh, uh, Joe Dante had one. It could, it might be that one. Steven Summers did this. Wasn't he the guy that uh, did the fucking mummy? Yeah. I, if it's the same guy. Yeah. So he, that's also a slightly lower budget movie. Yeah. Odd Thomas is a short order cook with psychic abilities who attempts to save his small town from evil forces. Critics yeah. praised Anton Yelchin's lead performance but found fault in the film's uneven, often confusing tone. Uh -huh. Number 19, High Tension from 2005. We were just talking about that. I think the, the criticism with that movie is the twist at the end because it really just yes. doesn't make sense. No, and it, it, in a way, hurts the movie. I mean, obviously, uh, it, it kind of makes you feel betrayed a little bit. I don't know. Ravenous from 1999, number 18. I don't remember ever getting through this movie entirely. Do you? I, I, Didn't Scream I Factory think, do this one? I think they did. I, I can't recall. I know I've seen some of it. But not, I, I can't recall if I've seen it all. Silent Hill from 20, uh, 2006, number 17. I don't think nobody cares about that one at all. Another eye roller. Uh, number 16, Halloween 2 from 1981. What do you think about Halloween 2? That's, that's a sequel to Halloween movies that I really don't talk about a whole lot. I mean, it's it, it, to me, it's almost like uh, the... You know, obviously, the precursor to when Phantasm 2 came out. it It's like you take Phantasm, and then you go to Phantasm 2. It's super studio polished. They've got a little extra money. And obviously, that, that's kind of like the way... It, you could tell it went from the original Halloween, low budget, not a lot of uh, ability to do certain shots... And then uh, in Halloween 2, it's completely different. I mean, it looks like a, a big well, movie. And it seems like with Halloween 2 that they were just going for, hey, let's make this like Friday the 13th. 
yeah. right, with the with the brutal kills and everything. And now this may just be me, but this is the way I think. I think over the years, Halloween three has aged gracefully. Halloween two has not aged the best. Like to me, like I just can't go back and rewatch that movie very much. It's fun. I don't hate it. I like it, but I just don't think it's aged that well. Anyway, number yeah. 15, Event Horizon. I fucking hate that movie. Uh, so I'm not a good person to. Uh, I've tried. I tried to go back and rewatch it recently. <laughs> I just don't like it. I, I mean, it's all right. I, I, I remember going. I was unemployed at the time, and I had, I don't know, I got extra money, and I went to Louisville to, to go watch uh, Event Horizon. It's <laughs> crazy. It has its fan base, but I'm just not one of them. Number 14, Resident Evil from 2002. I like that. I like that most of those films. Number 13, Repo the Genetic Opera. What? Huh? So, certain people like that. I mean, maybe some of the artsier people. For, I've never seen it, but I mean, it's not something I, I think I like. So People that like smelling their own farts like that. Well, I, I like, I'm one of those, but I don't like it. Are you? <sighs> Musky. Number 12, Saw from 2004. I guess the critics didn't like it. I didn't really pay attention to the critics. No. I mean, the first one was uh, pretty damn good, I thought. It's not they one that, to me, though, crazy. that you go back and rewatch. It's not, not a whole rewatchability lot, no. to it, no. No. I don't remember this one. I remember everybody loving this movie when it came out. Final Destination, the original from 2000 at number 11. I think almost all of those movies are have some some uh, entertainment value in them. I think the, the first, first one obviously did. Yeah, the first one's the best for sure. The first couple are really good, and then I kind of just I I don't know if I just can't uh, remember. Oh, the the fifth one is really good. Is that the one where it's kind of a prequel without you knowing about it? Well, if you're going to spoil it, yeah. <laughs> well, if you ain't seen that movie by now, it's over 10 years old. Well, we go, we get on my, on your cult, we go like, this is a 50 year old movie, but we're going to spoil it. <laughs> well, number 10, Underworld Awakening. That series I'll never watch. I have no Underworld interest. Awakening is like the worst one. So, okay. and I didn't like the third one either, but the Awakening was just like, you're watching a 30 minute movie almost, even though it's 90. Resident Evil Apocalypse from 2004. Yes. I, I, I really, really like the second one. I like that. I think, I don't know, maybe it's because of uh, you got the actress playing Jill Va uh, Valentine and then. Uh, ooh, Jill Valentine, ooh. baby. Jill Valentine. I agree with this one, kind of, but I don't think, I don't think fans clamor over this movie. Clamor. Yeah. That is Stigmata at number eight from 1999. First, I need a uh, an official definition of clamor, but no, no one get, no clabber. one remember clabber 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 I clabber over it. I'm clabbering over your no nobody no nobody remembers that movie. I guess they saw it on HBO, but other than that, Rupert Wainwright. Well, that's a name I haven't said out loud in a long time. <laughs> Number seven, Saw 3. Man, it could have been Saw 4, <laughs> Saw 8. I don't Saw, know. Saw dot dot. I mean, it doesn't matter. Right, it's all the same. Six, that's number seven. Ooh. Saw 4, number six again. <laughs> Saw 7, Saw 5. <laughs> Slaw. Now, this one's interesting because this is a movie, again, that I didn't like when it came out, but now I kind of love it. And oh I don't know God. if you feel this way. House of a Thousand Corpses from 2003 at number five. When I first saw it, I definitely didn't uh, think it was that good. But when I watched it on DVD, that's one of the best looking DVDs I've ever seen. The image quality. And then also the Blu-ray looks amazing too. And the music and everything. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't like it as much as Devil's Reject, but... I would watch uh, House of a Thousand Corpses at around Halloween. It's more. I think House of a Thousand Corpses is more rewatchable. Devil's Rejects has yes. got shit in it. I just don't want to really revisit. Oh. Other uh. than Tootie fucking Fruity. Yeah. <laughs> uh, number eight, 
number four at dude. I never hear anybody bring this movie up. <laughs> this girl was a beautiful girl, and she is no longer with us and everything. Uh-huh. So I, I'm sad about that. Queen of the Damned from uh, oh. 2002 with Aaliyah. Aaliyah's hot. Uh, yes. I- I like the movie because uh, I don't know. I read some stuff about the the storyline of the book and stuff, but yeah, it's uh, it's definitely different than Interview with a Vampire style, but it I, it had more of a contemporary kind of music, rockish, mm-hmm. whatever. I, I I I liked it, but no one remembers that film hardly, so I can't. Nobody see talks cl- about it. Clamoring. That's not on any list. Yeah, nobody's <laughs> clamoring or clabbering. <laughs> now, number three. Again, it's fucking Jigsaw from 2017. Uh, <laughs> saw three, saw five, saw six. <laughs> That's hilarious. I'm and clamoring. This is even more fucking eye roll. The next two are totally eye rollers. <laughs> I'm like, what, where the fuck did they come up with this? This is scientific, though. Yeah. The the Covenant from 2006. I think this is the last Rennie Harlan like mainstream horror movie, right? And he's doing the Strangers, what the whatever the trilogy is this year, the new Strangers trilogy. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever watched the Covenant. Can't remember. I I know what it is, but I'd be looking for the Covenant from 2000 with. Uh, Adrian Barbeau, and then this would come up. It's the convent. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Mate, that's why I couldn't find Some letters it. moved around, yeah. yeah. I'm dyslexic, damn it. Number one. Now, I'm like, uh, it just no don't make ever. sense. It don't make sense. <laughs> it don't make sense. Strangeland from 1998, <laughs> the Snyder movie. Clamor? I, no. Why would they clamor? That one's never, and I think that there's legal reasons why that's never been re-released again because of the Captain Howdy character, right? That was actually copywritten for The Exorcist. Well, they waited sure a long time <laughs> to uh, to notice. Yeah, but uh, I man, that's actually not a bad movie. I don't hate that movie, but what the hell? Like, how is that number one at all? Nobody talk. That's another one. Nobody. No. Since we've come back doing this show, like what three and a half years, I don't think anybody has ever mentioned <laughs> Strange Land once. Not one damn no. time. No, no, that was, no, That's not something that comes up. Give us the thumbs up. Off you butts. Like, subscribe, and if you subscribe, here's something else you can do. Once you subscribe. You can click the bell notification, right? And it'll notify you anytime that Dead Pit picks up new shit. Poor dog, I really don't give a fuck. I want you to. I want you to. <laughs> let's, let's keep our community growing here on I, YouTube. I don't, I don't like it. I don't want you to touch nothing. Listen, I need to do that. No, don't you dare touch it. Thumbs up. Subscribe. And click that bell. There's all kinds of wonderful shirts over at shop.deadpits.com. Simply the best horror shirts on Tee Public. There are others, but they all suck. You can get some Dead Pit Radio shirts. You can get Last South on the left. The Hills have eyes. Texas Chainsaw. Oh, wait, you can't say Texas Chainsaw. All kinds of shirts, folks. You're going to love them. Shop.deadpit.com Thank you to all of our supporters on Patreon. Deadpit on Patreon.com is the only place to check out a complete archive of the old Dead Pit radio shows all the way back from 2005 on. In addition to the midweek shows, fan commentaries, exclusive podcasts, and much more. Dead Pit on Patreon. Dot com if you're interested. Tears started only one dollar. We ain't